checking your credit file, you know, first and foremost, just, just to understand kind of where you are in terms of um, your credit rating. And it would then be thinking about the process. So it would be very much um, making sure that you've got things like your, your bank statements in order, perhaps make sure you've got at least the last three months. For dentists, it would be accounts. Um, if you don't have any accounts, that's probably a really, so I'm talking about clients who are perhaps in their first year associate position, um, it would be very much looking to engage with your accountant and see if you can get things like an accountant's projection, because believe it or not, even if you haven't got any accounts, there's, there's still mortgage lenders out there that can help you. So the biggest misconception around mortgages, certainly for new dentists, it would be that um, you need to have three years worth of accounts, and that, that isn't the case. There are lenders out there who look at dentists as a, as a good, safe, fair and solid um, profession, so they're quite happy to lend um, without those three years worth of accounts. Tips to kind of overcome any problems that they might have when it comes to uh, getting a mortgage in place would probably be around seeking um, input from a specialist early on, so seeking financial advice. I think that's really important. Um, there are plenty of websites out there where you can kind of um, scour the market in terms of, of, of mortgage deals, but what they won't tell you about is perhaps some of the conditions. Um, some of the criteria that you've got to meet with, with, with those lenders. So definitely seek, uh, seek out someone who, who, who understands that, that, that marketplace.